Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today with a very special episode, because today's episode is part of the Puzzle Advent Calendar 2020. The Puzzle Advent Calendar, if you never heard about it, is a collaboration of several YouTubers and puzzle creators. And the target is to provide you from the 1st of December until 24th of December, every day, a new video about the puzzle. Today is my turn and I participated already in the last year in 2019 and also in 2018 in the Puzzle Advent Calendar. All puzzles of the last years and also this year have been provided to me by ND Puzzles. The ones of you who watch my channel frequently probably remember that name. Anyway, I'm gonna link that channel up here. If you like what you see today, please check also the other videos of the Puzzle Advent Calendar 2020. I'm gonna put a link to the playlist up here and also in the video description so later you can check all the other videos out. The people who organized it put a lot of work in it, so please let us know your thoughts. And tomorrow's video, I will put you also a link up here where you can find it, will be released by CubeSol hero cube solve hero <laughs> so please also check it out and today's puzzle today's puzzle is very special because it's the first wooden puzzle andy puzzles created it's a house with actually no name therefore i called this video therefore i'm gonna call this video something with mr no names puzzle or something so i got a lot of plastic here on the on the desk by the way i hope this will not mess up my complete room it's not part of the puzzle and the puzzle itself is a house which need to be open i guess through this door there are one dial or one, there's one gingerbread man over here, which you can dial. It's like a dial with some resistance in it. And another one over here, also with some friction in it. That's it pretty much. Small chimney over here. Not sure if it has any function. A window, which looks like a sticker. The puzzle came also with an instruction saying, Dear Mr. Puzzle, I'm very happy to be able to send you another one of my Christmas themed puzzle boxes as part of the Puzzle Advent Calendar 2020. Okay. This is my fourth and so far favorite puzzle box design. I hope you like it as well. So as I mentioned, there have been another puzzle box last year and in the previous year. And there was a third one, which I also reviewed on this channel, which was kind of a Rubik's Cube shaped themed puzzle box. A very cool one which contained a puzzle inside of a puzzle. If you've never seen it, definitely check it out up here. Neither force nor external tools are required to solve it. Important point. I learned also it can be solved by... Good luck, Dario from ND Puzzles. Huge thanks also to my friend Kurt, without whom this build would not have been possible. As I learned, Kurt supported here and CNC milled all the wooden parts. So thanks a lot, Kurt, also to you. That's it pretty much. It comes also with an Allen wrench, accessory... Only use it if necessary. Oh, come on. I hope I don't have to use this. And I would propose we're gonna start and gonna find out after the spoiler break. Okay, so let's see. I hope I can make it in time, seriously. So let's just put some magic snow on it to reveal the solution. Won't work, okay. First approach failed. Let's see what we got here. So we got here a, as I said, Kind of a gingerbread man. There's a small gap or something here on the top. I'm not sure. I think this is just glued here on the top. What well, it became somehow loose. And I think this is not part of the puzzle. But on this one, it's actually the same. Hmm, interesting. Either a problem with the adhesion of the, of the top layer or really something to do with the puzzle. I don't know. Let's see if we move it. Some noise is coming from the inside. And also the chimney here. There's some holes here in the chimney on the inside. I'm not sure if you can see this. I'm not sure if they have any function. But the chimney seems to be fixed. The roof does not seem to be fixed. Interesting. It's movable but kept by something from inside in place. Okay, and as I mentioned here, the two gingerbread guys can be rotated. The door seems to be locked in place, can't open. And then I get these two mechanisms, these two gingerbread guys here on the side. And I can feel some resistance coming from them. Depending on how I rotate the house. So for example, now I can just spin it. And now it, there comes some resistance again. Are they connected? Yes, they seem to be connected because you can see if I'm moving it over here, yes, they're definitely interacting, but you can feel some movement over here, but it's not really twisting. Let's try some magic snow again. 
Nope. Whatever is inside there, some kind of a cylinder or ball or something. Stick, I don't know. This one has all seems to have always the same kind of friction. Nice friction. Oh, I, it seems I can pull this one out. Pull this guy out here. This seems very much unintended to me. <laughs> uh oh, I hope I'm not over puzzling this puzzle today. I have kind of a strange feeling doing this. <laughs> this would be a very strange move. Um, and now, oh, I can't get it in again. <laughs> oh, 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 I think I'm destroying this thing. Uh, doesn't feel right. <laughs> this doesn't feel right. Um. <laughs> okay, let me. I, I gotta. I, okay, I do it like this. Um, I gonna try to get it back in. If I can't make it back in, this so, so, uh, looks so wrong to me that I gonna ask the creator of this puzzle if this move is intended. If not. Then I'm gonna ask if I destroyed something. And if I destroyed something, I I don't know how to continue. It seems I can't get it in anymore, but the connection between these two guys here is now lost. Okay, so unfortunately I was right. It seems to be broken. Not sure if it broke during shipping or if I broke it right now. I should not be able to pull this completely out as I'm doing it right now. Also, the connection between these two seems to be broken. That means no satisfaction solution for me today, but at least I'm gonna open it up and see the mechanism to understand how it should actually work and to explain it to you. So let's just see. Let's get the accessory. Self-destroying puzzles are evil, guys. So it's good it came with an accessory. Mm -hmm. And just just zoomed in. So let's reveal what's inside. And oh my gosh, this looks insane. Okay, okay, okay. This part, this piece came off. It seems. I think it belongs here. Let's get this back in place. Okay, and this one. Now I think I now I repaired it, and I think this is. Pretty, pretty, pretty clever. Brilliant mechanism with two small design flaws. First one is that you can put, pull this one out because this, if you pull it out too much, will release this part here and then the mechanism is broken. This happened in my case. You could easily fix this by clamp something here. You could easily fix this by just attach something here, clamp something here to prevent this piece from getting pulled outside. And the second thing is that there's quite of a, a low friction between the components. So if you twist this one, you barely can feel that it's connected to anything inside here. Same for this one. This one got a little bit more resistance. Let me explain how this me mechanism actually works if you don't get it from looking at it. So it's very brilliant, very, very pr brilliant and clever. So Dario, Excellent design work. You see this maze down here? There's also a ball, a steel ball, which is guided inside of a channel here on the top of this piece. So the ball can roll from left to right. So you need to use this guy over here by twisting it. You can move this guiding feature up and down, or forward and backward. And you need to navigate this ball inside here through this maze, which is here on the bottom side. So I roll it over here and then I roll it up again and this is driven here by this small gear step by step upwards. You see how this should work? So it's supposed to work. This is just brilliant. Super cool idea. Now we'll get it down. It also got here a dead end. Ah, devilish. This is gonna be seriously difficult to be honest. Another dead end up here. And now if I'm over here, I could move down here. And if I move all the way down here, this part of the mechanism here will drive downwards and will release, when you reach the final position, will release this locking feature in here. And this is some kind of a Geneva drive. You can see it in here. I can twist now this one completely. And then it's interacting with this feature going inside of a small notch down here. Oh, and this is, 
another disadvantage here of this low friction knob because you need to apply a little bit more force you see to unlock this feature and i would not never been able to solve it because the friction here is so low that i would not be able to twist this wheel over here still if i do it by hand right now it will twist this wheel and this wheel will twist this disc over here which contains a magnet and if this this twists forward it will open up the door because this magnet will repel the magnet here in the door so if i twist this one again over here i'm gonna twist this wheel and if i twist it and this magnet moves to the front the front door will be opened and i'm not sure if i really deserved it this time but since it was not possible to solve and uh you know and at least i explain repaired it was able to repair it and understand how it works there you i think you agree <laughs> i can enjoy the chocolate right so let's turn this out again otherwise it's too bright so this is a super clever mechanism actually the idea dario is just brilliant and i also have to mention that dario and kurt put this together here within a very short period of time probably no prototyping involved in anything so the flaws that this puzzle contains actually could have been fixed very easily if you just build one or two prototypes it was just not enough time i think therefore it's very hard to rate this puzzle or to conclude let's say it like this this puzzle definitely was one of the most enjoyable and satisfying broken puzzles i've ever showed here on my channel because even if i was not able to solve it even if it was broken when i opened it up i was just like wow what is this inside and it was still fun trying to understand the mechanism which was very complex unfortunately it did not this time on this prototype still i hope this was an enjoyable video let me know in the comments sometimes things can break however let Dari know what you think about this clever mechanism i really enjoyed it that's it for today leave a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't Make sure to check out the other episodes of the Puzzle Advent Calendar 2020. Tomorrow's episode number 19 gonna be presented to you by Cube Solve Hero. And for today, I can only tell you, keep on puzzling!